Ian, 3-2 win this afternoon over Anik. Um Not the prettiest of performances, but um, so three points is all that matters, isn't it? No, you're right in what you say. Three points is what matters. Uh, were we at our best today? No, the players are aware of that. Um, we could have had a long post-mortem in the dressing room after the game, but we, we've chose not to and we've basically just said to them, look, they know, we know, we haven't played to the levels we're, we're capable of today, but we, we've got three points and we move on to, to Wednesday night. We're unbeaten in five games now. Um, it must say a lot about the character of the side um, to actually see the game through this afternoon as well. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the lads have got good character. Um, we have seen the game through. Anik, to give them some credit, um, obviously, Derek Atwells came back and took over with Stephen Mullen, and the boys have responded for Anik, and they've they've run themselves into the ground. And we've showed good character, but we we need to just understand how to manage games of football a little bit. I think the day we we've turned it into a game when really we we should have been able to control it a little bit better. No disrespect, Anik, but we should have been able to control the game a little bit better. We just seem to want to be very open at the moment. Um, and we allow team to create too many chances against us, and that was the disappointing thing to do. You went three-one up in the game as well. Did you think um, that you were going to actually go on and kick on and get more goals and, and close the game out and make it more comfortable? Yeah, well, you always hope that's going to be the case. Obviously, three ones a, a nice little cushion of two goals, and you hope that you'll go on and score more goals. But I think we we learned a little lesson against Tauloff. If we go too gung ho, then we leave ourselves exposed at the other end, and and Tavlo punished us for that. So that you've always got one eye on that. But I, I did think at three one, we might make the game a little bit more comfortable than we did. And to be honest, just before that, I think Stephen Young's hit the crossbar, um, and it's thankfully bounced back into Chris Bannon's hands. Otherwise, it could have been, it could have been two two really. Um, so disappointing that we we haven't had a more convincing performance. But we'll not lose sight of the fact that we've won again three points and it keeps the unbeaten run going. Yeah, it's two wins out of two for November now. Um, a very busy month for the side. You've got Ashton on Wednesday night, one of your former sides. Um, how are you feeling going into that? I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I, I've, I haven't thought about it till now. I can think about it now. I don't know, it's a cliche about one game at a time, but I can I can think about it now. And it's it's what it isn't going to be, it isn't going to be me versus Ashton. Uh, it's, and I'm not going to turn the game into being about me because if you think, Jay, Robertson, the physios, very recently left Ashington to join ourselves at Blythe. You've got the likes of Damien Stevens, Kyle Oliver, Dale Walker on the coaching staff, Sam Norris, Ryan McGorrigan. They've all represented Ashington as well. So it's always nice when you play your old club, but the only thing that'll be in my mind and my concern will be uh, looking to get a positive result and uh, progressing into the next round. Cheers, Ian. No problem, thank you.